mountains high to the valley is low. They all shout at the story. Hello, everybody. My name is Phil Driscoll, and we are going to have so much fun. Oh, Lord. And I have a special guest with me. He's just learning to play the keyboards. His name is Kevin. What'd you say your last name was, Kevin? Driscoll. No, your last name is Kevin Wade. Wade. <laughs> I hope y'all are ready, so fasten your seatbelts. I was reading this very cool verse. And it's found in Isaiah 61, 11. For as surely as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring forth, so surely the Lord God will cause righteousness and justice and praise. Did you hear that, Kevin? Praise. To spring forth before all the nations through the self-fulfilling power of his word. Now, Lord, we just ask you to bless this time. <laughs> and we give you the praise for it in Jesus' name. Isaiah 61 says, now, Kevin, wait just a minute. Just hold for just a second. Watch this all the way out. See, whenever you hear the word of God, it's always anointed. And it's always got power. If I say the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek, he has set me to bind the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the recovering of sight to the blind. Mm. Now play, Kevin, would you? But play that. Well, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. We got good news. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. Man, if you're in jail, it ain't any fun. But when somebody breaks you out, it's a good day, man. And the word says he has sent us to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. If you didn't know that, this year is the year of Jubilee according to the Jewish calendar. That means all debts are canceled. Anybody that's captive has got to be set free. Man, that's a good day in anybody's book. And then it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Oh, to give them that are bound, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You know, garments are for a reason. If it's cold and somebody gives you a coat, you wear it, you put it on, and you're protected from the environment that's around you. And see what the Bible says about praise is that it's a garment. That we can put on the garment of praise instead of a heavy, burdened, and failing spirit. Hmm. If you're walking through a tough time, put on the garment of praise. If things are going south in your life, if your world is a little upside down, put on the garment of praise because that's when you activate the forces of heaven to work in your behalf. One of the first things I ever recorded for Jesus, I read that verse, the Spirit of the Lord, and this song was born, so here goes. Oh, yeah. 
Spirit of the Lord. I'm so glad he can be on anyone. Da 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 da. Well, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind the brokenhearted. That's why we're here. Going to bind the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to the captives. And they open a prison to them that are bound to preach deliverance to the captives, recover the sight to the blind. That means if you've been blinded, your eyes can open up. Spirit of the Lord, who is on me, He is upon you. I can feel His power. I know that the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord God, is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good tidings to the me. Now He has sent me to buy the broken hearted, buy the broken hearted, proclaim liberty. To the captain and I'm in a prison to them that are bound. Gonna preach deliverance to the captain, recover the sight to the blind. He's everywhere in the world, in the universe. That means no matter where you go, no matter how far away, no matter what's going on that makes you want to run and hide, the Spirit of the Lord, He is upon you. And he wants to set you free. Now, Lord, I just pray that you would use these sounds and fire them through the airwaves into every place where the sound is heard. Because I know that the sounds of heaven are coming to the earth. They're coming to you right now. No matter what's going on in your life, just open up your heart and let his power touch you. Whoa, let it touch you now. Just open up your life. It's not the time to run and hide. It's the time to walk toward him. Cause he cares for you. His son gave his life and spilled his blood for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you will never be the same. Never be the same. You ain't going to ever be the same man again. Whoa. 
<laughs> I should play it, shouldn't I? the reason I'm here. I'm come to lift my voice. I'm gonna lift my voice to worship you. Oh my soul, you're the reason I get to rejoice. Take joy my King. Take joy, my king. Yeah, you know what you hear? What you hear? Whoa. Let it be a sweet sound, a earth changing sound. Let it be a sweet sound, a heavenly sound. Oh, let it be. Let it be. Let it be a sweet sound in your ear. And Lord, I pray that you would cause it to go over the airwaves, to ride the winds, go from nation to nation, and let the world hear that Jesus is alive and well. And it's filled with power This minute, this hour Whoa. For you, my Lord, are worthy And the heavens declare you're worthy To be praised and adored All the angels And the saints above Join all the heavenly hopes they join to the sound the sound of the reading it doesn't matter where you are the bible is very clear that God sent the best he had in heaven so that all you have to do is not join some kind of form of religion but to join him via the only son of God his name is Jesus he's not just a prophet he is the son of God 
lot of religions will talk about how cool of a man he was, but they'll say, no, he was just a prophet. No, he was born of a virgin. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, and he came into the world as a man to deliver every man, woman, boy, girl, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter what color your skin is. That's the reason that God sent his son. And it goes like this. For God so loved the world that he gave the best he had his only son that who Soever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That means a life that lasts forever and forever and forever. It's very hard for me to understand how anyone can live on planet Earth without the knowledge of where they're going when they leave or without the knowledge of those that they love, where will they be? No matter how you cut it, Jesus did not come to establish a religion. He came to set all of mankind free. That means if you're a murderer, he came to set you free. That means if you're an adulteress, he came to set you free. That means if you're a prostitute, he came to set you free. That means if you're a good old boy, he came to set you free. That means if you're a redneck, he came to set you free. It means if you're the most wealthy man on planet Earth, he came to set you free. And when you get a hold of that, it changes your perspective of what's important in your life, it changes your perspective of what you hope for, it changes your priorities. And when that happens, it's a very good year. <laughs> it's a time of celebration. Because the fact that God considered the death of his son as a fair exchange for the sin of us all. Man, I don't know about you, but that makes me want to shout makes me want to lift up my voice and praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh, yes. You know, I've been playing this piece of plumbing for a long time, since I was about 11 years old. But I tell you a story. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was this little boy, and he had a godly father and a godly mother. And their job in this world was to help people and build little churches, never big churches, just little churches. And as that little boy got a little bigger, his grandmother gave him a plastic kazoo kind of trombone and so his mom and dad would hold street meetings and his mom played the accordion and so the little boy would stand beside his mom and he'd play the plastic trombone that little boy was me and somehow whew, something happened Because let me tell a lot of people how wonderful Jesus is. This marks the beginning 
of a new season in my life. And I'm thrilled to be able to share it with you. And since I hate programs, and I don't like them at all. I purpose not to really know exactly what songs I might do or how it might really go. But I will never forget my father who played a little trumpet too. He would uh, always sing this song. And as a little boy, I thought it was cool. But then as I got older, I thought it was sort of corny. <laughs> Man. And you know, it might really be corny. I don't really know, but I don't care anyway. But it said, there's something within me that's holding the reins. And I can remember, you know, he, he, my mom would play the organ or the accordion and they'd sing in this little church and I'm sitting on the side. And I really started playing. The way I learned how to play was playing there in church. But one of my favorite musicians besides Kevin, who's wonderful, is a man by the name of Doyle Dykes. And we got together and we were, we just wanted to do a, a worship CD. We called it Songs in the Key of Worship. But I looked at him and I said, you remember that song? There's something within me that's holding the reins. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, man, I know that song. There's something within me and you if you know Jesus. He's holding the reins There's something within me That of that anxious pain There's something within you and me I cannot explain Oh, I know Praise the Lord, there's something within within me is holding the reins it's Jesus within me he vanishes pain it's Jesus within me I praise his name You 
might be in trouble now Things might be going a little weird But I'm here to tell you that Jesus is the only way to fly He's the only way to get high He's the only way to win So, wherever you are Know this That hope is coming into your life right now Dreams are coming back to you now In Jesus' name In Jesus' name Go ahead, Kevin. My name is Phil Driscoll, and this is my friend Kevin Wade, who's coming with me today. And we're just coming to tell you, Jesus is Lord, and it's time for a divine awakening in your life. Oh, yeah. This is the very first time I get to tell anybody about this, all right? It's called Heaven's Truth Revealed. And it's an offer that I want to make to all of you. It's two CDs and this is a double CD. All for $25 plus shipping and handling. Or I would like to invite you to go to our website, which is phildriscoll.com. You can download all of my music. But the special that we're having this month is Songs in the Key of Worship, In His Presence, and Heaven's Truth Revealed. Let me tell you about Heaven's Truth Revealed. One of the CDs is called The Force of Praise. Just like the force of gravity, God established a law in the earth called the Law of Praise. And I believe it was destined to cause you to walk in the victory zone. I believe it's God's pleasure to cause us to be victorious in this world. And then the other one is called worship, the currency of heaven. Wow. When it get right down to it, when there is an exchange made of your life energy in God's direction, which is worship, God releases his energy and his power into your life and you can never be the same. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to Divine Awakening. Jesus is Lord, and the heavens declare His glory. God bless you.